This is the 440i timer that replaced the 440 timer. Still have the same design with the time of day wheel that you just pull out and set to the current time of day. And a skipper wheel, six or seven days. And for each pin that you push in, it will regenerate that night. And if you need to manually regenerate it, there's a slot in the little arrow button. You can get a large screwdriver, push in, and just turn it a hair to start. The motor will take it the rest of the way around. Now, if you want to check how your system's working, you'll push it in, backwash, you'll open the backwash valves in the back, and you'll start hearing the water flow out. You advance it a little further, it falls out of backwash, and then right about there it engages the brine valve, which is right behind the timer, to go into the brine and slow rinse, or draw and slow rinse, as it's called here. That lasts for about 45-50 minutes when it's sucking in the salt water and rinsing it out. At the end you have a little fast rinse, and the final thing is a refill where it refills the water in the salt tank for about 8 to 10 minutes and finally it returns to the service or treated water position which is straight down. If you accidentally get a little bit past that which all of us have done in the business it will catch and you'll come back 10 minutes later and you'll find the things in backwash and that's what happened. You just went a little bit too far past that so generally you might want to leave it just before the start or service position and then let the timer find home if it needs to. Little flag pin here is just helping to hold the timer on. If you're taking the timer off, you take that out and then the timer will slide straight up. When you're putting the timer in, you stick that in and just turn it to the right or left, locking it in so it won't slide up by itself.